More than a half century ago, Bob and Pinky McNamara established their lifelong connection with the University of Minnesota. The brothers, who grew up in nearby Hastings, were gopher football backfield stars in the 1950s, playing together for one year in 1954. Bob, an All-American fullback, was a senior, and Pinky, also a star athlete and student, was a sophomore. Having a chance to go to the university was a pretty special deal, and uh, there weren't a lot of, let's say, scholarships available at that time. I know my scholarship came from uh, being in the service and being a student athlete to uh, compete, to be with your fellow man on campus and experience that was pretty special. And uh, I think Pink and I thought that uh, we'd like to give back a little bit, I think. That was a big deal in our mind. College football is Minnesota, and the, the Golden Gophers are terrific. In later years, the McNamara brothers teamed up on numerous projects in support of the university and intercollegiate athletics. In the early 2000s, Bob and Pinky joined forces on the Baseline Tennis Center and the Save Gopher Sports Campaigns. More recently, the two Gopher standouts have combined efforts on the TCF Bank Stadium campaign. Both have made substantial gifts to the project and continue to fundraise for the on-campus stadium. On a lot of the projects, um, you know, you have to think, okay, if we're going to raise some money, you know, you try to figure out who might be a potential person. And uh, Pink has always been pretty successful. So I always thought that, like when you play baseball, if you get the first hit, you feel better. So the first guy I'd ever call on would be my brother Pinky because he was always right there and he almost always said, yes, I'll be the guy. And the same thing with uh, when we were on the golf deal. He was the first guy that stepped forward and he's always the first guy. So uh, he's the most valuable guy. Hey, <laughs> he's all American and I'm an invaluable guy. <laughs> the McNamara's fondness for gopher athletics doesn't stop with the men in the family. Bob's wife, Annette, has also made it her calling. Recently, Annette co-founded a woman's tennis scholarship with Carol Scancy. From their modest beginnings as children of the Depression, the McNamaras have turned their success into something more. Their generosity to the University of Minnesota and intercollegiate athletics is unprecedented. With their undying support and tireless commitments of both time and money, they have made an indelible mark on the legacy of our programs. You know, everybody has a certain amount of pride in what you do, and I think uh, it sort of comes back after you've done all this, that, and the university sort of knows that, and they recognize that, and anytime I'm involved with Pink and we're getting an award, I'm happy. He was in the backfield with me, so it's kind of fun to be back uh, a little bit in the limelight now, so we don't move quite as fast, but we still got a couple moves. Well, he didn't give me the ball as much as I like it, but he gives me once in a while. He said, once we got ahead a few points, he said, here's one for you, too. It worked out fine. The University of Minnesota Intercollegiate Athletics is proud to present the 2007 Director's Award to the McNamara's.